It is cold out here. The temperatures are dropping fast towards freezing. It is a ton of work. It takes a lot to bring that to fruition. Um, it takes, you know, many, many years from the time that you plant the tree to the time it becomes uh, harvestable. And then you take into account mother nature and the regulatory side and all these other different factors that make it tough to bring that fruit, that piece of fruit to the market. You know, our California farmers and ranchers have made it seem so easy, but it's not that easy. I mean, there's a lot of things that have to all come together for it to really, uh, you know, make that perfect piece of fruit deliverable to places, not only throughout this country, but throughout the world. So California is the number one citrus state in the nation. With that, a majority of that, about 75% of that production here in the San Joaquin Valley. You know, most people associate Florida with uh, citrus and Florida does have citrus, but that's predominantly used for the juicing kind, the type that ends up in your orange juice. Here in California, we're producing the fresh market citrus that's ending up um, in your hands that you're actually peeling yourself. It is a ton of work. It takes a lot to bring that to fruition. When we get down to you know near freezing, 33, 32, uh, it actually helps to really develop that fruit, bring on the color, bring on the sugar. Uh, the worrisome effects though, though, when we start seeing these temperatures down in the mid 20s, that's a whole different deal. First and foremost, they'll run those big fans out in the field. Uh, that helps to stir up the warmer air that's above the trees with the very cold uh, uh, temperatures that are down at the tree level. It's amazing, some of these farmers staying up all night watching the temperatures, running the fans, running the water. Just think about that next time you bite into an orange or a mandarin. And so it gains you maybe one to three degrees. It may not sound like much, but the difference for one to three degrees difference may mean damage or no damage, just depending on how severe the cold event is. So fallow packing was founded in 1950, and we now farm about 5,000 acres of mandarins here in the valley. Growing up, I don't think I ever had a mandarin, but now, I mean, uh, there's a lot of kids that have never had a navel orange. It's pretty easy to sit down and uh, just take down one of these pretty fast. We're here at the packing plant where fruits received from the field. So on a normal day, we're harvesting anywhere from 1,500 to 3,500 bins. Each bin is roughly 1,000 pounds. Yeah, over a quarter million bags a day we're shipping out of the facility. As the fruit passes through these camera boxes, it's taking up to 500 pictures of each piece of fruit, and we're able to identify any blemishes on the exterior. So that's the same piece of fruit from a top view and then both side views. We're able to identify all those defects and adjust our tolerances based on market preferences. Yeah, I don't think the average person realizes how much goes into uh, you know, delivering that fruit that you just accustomed to seeing in the produce aisle. Everybody cares, we just take a lot of pride in what we do, and I think there's a big focus on quality and the people, and uh, it's just, it's really neat to, to go to work every day and really enjoy what you do and be proud of what you do.